Welcome Aries, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth, um, the Oracle of the Seven Energies and what is this? Energy Oracle. All about energy it seems like, okay? Okay, so let's start with Soul Truth for your Aries. Okay, so how many cards do we want? Let's find out. One's on the floor. Let's find out, Aries. True. Three. Okay, let me pick this one up off the floor. Okay, Aries, the one that's on the floor is, am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? We've got, what if it wasn't true? And... Am I in my head or in my heart? Okay, so am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. Mm, I like that, Aries. Okay, so the action that you can take here, Aries. Make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Feel your heart. Take a breath and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. Oh, I love, 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 love it. Okay, <clears throat> tell me more about this for Aries, please. Tell me more about this, this change for Aries. Oh, just landed on the table. I think I'd like one more card for Aries. About this change that Aries has got. There it is. Okay, that's two more cards. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> that's all right. It's all good. Two cards is fine. Okay, so, okay. So the first one we have here is Contract. <clears throat> so it's the end of a contract, right? This is about getting things into balance. So I wonder if this was actually a karmic contract um, that had to be seen through. And now that it has been, it's done. The interesting thing is I don't think you can see um, what that is about. It may not be apparent to you yet what the contract was or that even, you know, that there was one, right? Um, but yeah, tell me more about the contract for Aries. Okay, let me pick this one up. Okay, so this there's this beautiful uncaging here. And we've got close encounters. I feel like, I feel like this contract is meant to ignite this transformation within you here set you free to set you free for you to learn to set yourself free I can't get my words out there's this unlocking of the heart here uncaging of the heart so this could be um, emotions that were locked in your heart here Aries and um that need to be released and maybe with this ending that's the only way that they could have been released because potentially they were suppressed so much that um they they weren't released previously so yeah we've got yin yang yeah this is again about this balance right number 22 this balance um, it's, it's the yin yang part of that is is fire so it's burning away all the things that are no longer serving you to rejuvenate for rejuvenation yeah let's have a look further into this tell me more about yin yang for Aries on the floor <laughs> yin yang one more card for yin yang for Aries please Look, there goes the talent. Oh, I haven't had that in a while, actually. My talent is back. Okay, let's pick this one up. Okay, Aries. Wow, 
this we've got the number 22 again with this yin yang and this is tender embrace as though do you know what I feel like I need to do is get my animals book let me see if I can find it okay I couldn't find my book but I did look it up on um, the net okay so elephants um, I just was told to look it up look at what elephants mean right elephants represent many things they're symbols of luck and prosperity, but they are also powerful beings that use their mighty strength to remove obstacles and negative forces. They also represent wisdom, long life, memory and vitality. So there you go. Okay, so that's really interesting about that. Okay, so Aries, I'm so pleased I looked that up because I feel like, you know, removing any obstacles... And that could be what was in your heart that you were holding on to that needed to be released, right? In order for you to completely open up, okay? It is what it is. So, and, and I feel like it's sort of, in a sense, maybe adopting this attitude, right? Interesting thing, though, I just want to point out, we have the number six here and the number six here. So, yeah, that's just what I want to say there is be mindful of your thinking, okay? Be really mindful that you're keeping it as positive as possible and kind of just go, it is what it is. There are these things that need to be released. Release them. Do the work that you need to heal that, okay? And um, try not to get too caught up in the details of things, okay? Try not to let your head take over and take control, Okay, because that's going to keep you stuck in there. Okay, the sun. The sun, this is this new beginning for you, I feel. It's sort of like the storm clouds clearing and the sun coming out for you. Okay, so this is where it's important for you to make this list to work out what you're going to gain so that you can focus on that rather than what, you know, feeling like oh, I've lost this and I've lost that. Okay, so tell me more about the sun for Aries, please. Thank you. We've got the power of purpose. The power of purpose. This has hit the bullseye. Hit the bullseye here. Right, the power of purpose. It's really interesting because I feel like this is sort of like hitting the heart. This is where the, your purpose is, right? Go into your heart to find out your purpose. Focus on that. Focus on something other than what has happened. Your purpose. Opening to discovery. See, here's this keyhole. This keyhole again, just like here, right? There's a key, there are doors opening for you. There are opportunities there for you, Aries. So it's very important for you to see, to, to put your head up and have a look around and see what options are available to you. Okay, what you can gain out of this rather than what you have lost. Okay, okay, so the next card is, is what if it isn't true? Okay, the thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, or it's not for you, what if it wasn't true? The action that you need to take here, Aries, it's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes and put your hands on your heart and ask the wise one within you. What if it wasn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answer. What lie do I need to get, get let go of to reach my soul's truth? Interesting. See, this is this sort of monkey mind, right? Going over and over and it's like, oh, well, maybe this and maybe that and maybe I'm this and maybe I'm that, right? What if it's not true? Okay, tell me more about this. 
not true what's not true I want to put that one back that other one went flying is that one yep okay okay Aries so this one here is broken heart right this is the things that you're telling yourself are breaking your heart over and over and over again you see with this change that you're going through and this thing that has ended may have broken your heart what you're telling yourself about it and um, the things like why you don't think you belong you can't do it you won't get there you're not enough or it's not for you those things are breaking your heart over and over and over again okay so these are the things that you need to stop replaying in your mind because they are not helping you okay so tell me more about broken heart for Aries please one card on the floor Aries one more card to go okay two cards let me get this one okay Aries I'm loving this smoke and mirrors this is telling you something self something that's just simply not true right simply not true you know you are worth it you are worth more than you could ever imagine right you are enough all these things that are going around and around in your head that you think are true that you are finding evidence for in your life are um are not true okay um we now have awakening a genius this is this is this wise one inside of you right coming through to speak yeah um this is your soul's truth coming through to speak here right allowing that um that higher self to because th this this cannot come through so long as there is smoke on the mirror right you cannot see the truth of who you really are. You cannot see into your soul with this here. So you need to put, put all of that out of your mind. Okay. Um, and we have the roses kiss again with this numbers already. Number nine and number nine. Okay. This is the ending of a cycle here. Okay. Um, and, and this is number 29. Like holy macaroni Batman which is number 11, right? This is sacred. This is actually something that um, I feel like is leading you into so much more than what you can imagine right now. And it's very difficult for you to see it because you're in it, you know, and it's not apparent to you yet, but you'll get down the track and go, oh, so this is why this had to happen. Because if it hadn't happened, it wouldn't have led me here, okay? And we have the roses kiss, okay? And it hurts. The rose's kiss hurts. There's the thorns in the rose, you know, and when the, the thorns prick you, it hurts, right? And it bleeds, but the rose is beautiful. And so sometimes the pain can end up being the most beautiful transformation that you've ever made in your life. Okay, we have all tied up, and this is about you getting yourself tied up in knots right actually holding yourself back because of your belief system regarding this all right um so tell me more about all tighter for aries please i don't know why but pisces keeps jumping in my mind so i don't know if you're you have pisces in your chart or a pisces is involved here but i just thought i'd let you know that One more card for all tied up, please, for Aries. Thank you. Okay, the first card we have here is Beyond the Ordinary. You see this difference here of this person being all tied up and this person actually being able to expand without these restrictions, right? Um, because they've freed their mind, they've opened up their mind. Um, so Aries, this is something that you must do, okay, in order for you to take off and fly and transform, in order for your heart to shine. You know, because there is something incredibly special about you, right? You're just not your ordinary Joe Bloggs here, okay? And um, 
while you're wrapped up in this heartache Aries it's hard for you to see that and hard for you to let that out right so this is crucial for you to give yourself permission to be who you truly are all right waking the lion yeah Aries waking the lion and within you know this is about strength right standing up and owning who you are and going you know what I'm so much better than that I will not let this control me I will not let this bring me down I am who I am and that is more than enough I am who I am and I am worthy I am who I am and stand in that and own it yeah am I in my head or in my heart what is the quality of your self-talk our brain is like a muscle if we condition it daily the fears and limitations will take over mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen Okay, so the action that you need to take here, Aries, is this. Today, master your mind, watch an inspiring video, do some tapping, read an empowering book, or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. Yeah, yeah, start being your own cheerleader here, Aries, right? Don't wait for anyone else to do it, do it yourself. Okay, so one more card. Yeah. okay so we have at the fourth chakra angel raphael and that's your heart right so call on archangel raphael um to help with this healing of your heart here okay because that is what Archangel Raphael is for okay and um, and I really feel like that is going to assist you um, and anything that you are thinking drop those thoughts into your heart you know command to the spirit to to transmute and transform whatever it is that is going on in your mind right because it's not assisting you it's holding you back okay so broken open yeah broken this is this heart area right broken open broken open so that you can repair and heal because sometimes it's like um the the scab needs to be ripped off in order to heal completely and properly. So I feel like it's important for you, Aries, to do this work that you need to do to make that happen. Okay, we have the Oracle's gift here. And this is about you rising up. This, is this I feel like, is ancient. Something very ancient about this. Okay, and um, whether it's in this lifetime or previous lifetimes, um, this, is, this is an opportunity for you to allow your soul to come through and, um, sorry, it was this one, allow your soul to come through and take the lead in this because your soul knows what needs to be done. When you're in your mind, it's um, easy to be led in the wrong direction by your mind, but when you allow your soul to take the lead, which is what I feel like you need to do here, um, yeah, I think you'll get further with it. Um, sorry, I'm just actually just being taken away by this next card here, the thinking woman. Please don't pay attention too much to the gender. But this is, I feel like this is actually someone who has completely and utterly delved into everything they know, everything they've learned, everything they've memorized to go, I know the answer for this. This answer is somewhere. Let me go find it, right? The answer isn't here. No, 
it answer is in, he in here, which is pretty much what we've been saying this whole time. But let me get more on this here. The Thinking Woman for Aries, please. Tell me more about this for Aries. The Thinking Woman. Perfect Harmony. Wow. Grand Symphony. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Holy heck. That's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Right? This is what happens when you drop into that heart and let your, your soul take the lead. Yeah? You will absolutely be in perfect har harmony with the Grand Symphony of your life. Right? Of what you've come here to achieve. This is your soul leading. Let it lead. Aries, let it lead. Okay? I am going to lead. Lead. <laughs> I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.